So how does the converter generate this me mechanical vibration? So it uses the, the piezoelectric effect and basically um, the, the ceramic discs that are in the converters for converter stack, 20 kilohertz converter, 35 kilohertz converter, but they're essentially the same for um, piezoelectric ceramics here, for piezoelectric ceramics here with electrical leads coming in. So when we excite them electrically, they expand and contract, they vibrate mechanically. So as I mentioned, the booster, by nature of its mass above the nodal point and below the nodal point, creates a, what we call a gain ratio. So the input vibrations are typically smaller in the back and larger in the front. And each of the boosters has etched into it of the ratio. So in this case, this booster for one micron of input outputs two and a half microns. We do from time to time require a, a reduction in gain. So we see that we have reducing ratio boosters in both 20 and 35 kilohertz. But more often than not, more common is to see increasing gain. So in 20 kilohertz, we have ratios of one and a quarter, one and a half, two, two and a half, and three. In 35 kilohertz, we have ratios of one and a quarter, one and a half, two, and two and a half. Um, in setting up a, a process for our customers, we are essentially responsible for picking the right booster. The reason we're, we're, we're training or teaching about this is that sometime down the line you may change your material or or something else may change in the process so how do you get the process back into control or how do you get the um, output to meet your your requirements more often than not um, it's it's a change in amplitude that will affect how the parts are welded another um, question that often comes up is about this mounting ring why is it there? How does it work? What, what's, what's inside there? Um, and a common misconception is that it's there to kind of bolt together the two halves of the booster. And this isn't true. The booster is one solid piece of titanium. But again, because if you think back to that rubber band analogy that I made, if you grab the two ends of the rubber band and stretch it, the middle of the rubber band can be grabbed and held because there's no motion there. So that we use that to our advantage. We, we, we further isolate the ability to hold that nodal point with this mounting ring. And then the stack is placed into the welder using that mounting ring location to hold the stack within the actuator. 